Hey guys, Sean here. Um, this is a review on a 2015 independent thriller entitled uh, Roommate Wanted. Basically, it stars Alexa Vega and Spencer Grammer. Um, it's basically about these two female roommates with completely polar opposite of, um, 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 how should I say this? Behaviors, I guess. I don't know. Um, with personalities, that's what that's the word I'm looking for. Um, they're completely different personalities. Basically, basically put them again, and I've essentially put them at odds with each other. I guess is the best description I can give. Um, so the. Um, basically, Alexa Vegas plays a character named Jeannie Garber, who is a bipolar control freak, uptight, loyal person, smart and independent. And her roommate, D. Henderson, is played by played by uh, Spencer Grimmer, is obsessed with her looks and is a stereotypical dumb blonde and aggressive. Um, I'm not trying to say blondes are dumb. I'm just I'm just reading it off online. Like I said, not trying to say blondes are dumb. Um, so, what did I think of this movie? Well, primarily I watched it mainly because I've, I'm a huge fan of Alexa Vegas from the Spy Kids movies, even though the fourth one was complete garbage. I did like her in Sabara coming, Sabara coming back, though. That... That's a good part of the movie. The rest of Spike Kids 4 is complete shit. But anyway, as far as this movie, I thought it was really well. I thought it was a really good thriller. I liked both Grammar and Vega in the movie. They gave good performances. Um, seeing Alexa Vega in this kind of role was a little funny and a little shocking. And somewhat creepy as well because the only movies I've ever seen her in were the Spy Kids movies. And I've never really seen her outside of that. So it's a little disjointing, I guess you said, to see her in something different. But yeah, she gives a great performance, so does Spencer Grammer. And a side note, Spencer Grammer's father is actually Kelsey Grammer, who plays Beast in the X-Men movies. I kind of find that weird, how she's a girl that has a guy's name, and Kelsey Grammer is a guy with a girl's name. I found that a little weird. And who knows? Um, but yeah, this movie was directed by... I'm assuming a first-timer. I think. I don't know. It says... So yeah, he basically used to do short films. And it's an independent film by Rob Margulis. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. Um, but anyway, basically the plot of this movie is essentially... Um, Janie, played by Vega, is accepted into college, but yet she finds that college will only pay for half her tuition, so she has to seek additional funding elsewhere, and she finds online that she can sell female stuff, we'll just say that, I'm not gonna say what it is because I don't want to gross people out, so we'll just say female stuff. That there's a fem there's a fraternity clinic that will allow her to sell her again female stuff not to say what it is um, for fifty thousand dollars because she needs the money for her college um, and then everything's fine until apparently Janie makes a crude remark to D you know about her life and her lifestyle habits and she said and the two girls basically they clash and. It, I actually thought this was a really good movie. It's 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 a pretty good thriller. Um, it's only an hour and twenty four minutes, which is a little shocking for a thriller, I think. But yeah, I had great fun watching this movie. Um, it's probably not one I'll ever see again or even buy on DVD. I saw it online. Um, but yeah, it's probably not one I buy. But it was good to watch for what it was. Um, the 
soundtrack, if there was one, I thought was good. The music I thought was really good. Um, I don't know who does the music, to be honest. I kind of missed that part in the credits or something. Um, this movie, like I said, very low budget. Um, so there's not really much in the way of in the way of production values, considering they, what they had to work with. Um, but I still thought this movie was was really good, really fun to see. Um, would I recommend this movie? Probably not. Probably not. Um. So, yeah, I guess that's my review of this movie. That's pretty much my review of Roommate's Wa Roommate Wanted. Um, so, yeah, I guess I will see you guys later. Bye.